out with the old and with the new. So we are talking about the new Zephyrus and not just any Zephyrus, the Asus ROG Zephyrus MGM501, which will hence be known as the Zephyrus. So last year, uh, Asus launched the old Zephyrus, which was really cool, really innovative. And as you can see, nothing much has changed about either design. Here's the old one. Looks pretty much identical, right? So if I open them, you see immediate differences. The old one, the keyboard is pushed all the way to the lip of the laptop, so you really can't type comfortably, whereas this time around, Asus thought better of it, moved the keyboard and the touchpad into proper position, which makes for more comfortable typing. And they've even redesigned the keys, so it's got a little bit more pushback, which is always good. Old Zephyrus had a Core i7 and a Max-Q 1070 NVIDIA card. New Zephyrus, on the other hand, sexy new Zephyrus, has a 8th gen Intel Core i7 8750H processor. So that means that this is 50% more performance than this guy who has the KB Lake. So this is just... The other key difference is that this now also has a full-fledged GTX 1070 GPU. So now you're playing with full power. You don't have to worry about not being able to overclock or throttling. No, you're getting the full power of the 1070 car. All of our gaming best benchmarks and it also shows in the battery life. <laughs> the battery life we got about three hours and 40 minutes, which actually is an improvement from last year, but it's still not where we would want a gaming laptop, but I'm willing to cut it a little bit of slack because hey, you're getting a full 1070. So just to make sure that everything stays cool because you've got that full 1070, like Asus has once again added that exhaust pipe at the bottom of the laptop that if I do like this, what? Oh my God, where'd it go? I don't know, let's figure it out. Let's try it again. <gasps> what? As you can hear, for a laptop this small, and this is only uh, 0 0.7 inches thick, uh, this is actually pretty loud. I'm very surprised about that, especially since the speakers are right here and they're quite small. So I'm actually having to compete with this laptop for you to hear me right now. You get all of this goodness for $21.99. In my review, I actually gave this four stars and an editor's choice, so woohoo! It just makes for a really good gaming laptop. However, if you're trying to use this on the road, you're going to have to find a power outlet. But still, this is a great gaming laptop. I'm Sherelle Smith. This is Laptop Mag.